More shipments of the vaccine uh, for COVID arriving across the country today. Joining us now is Dr. Scott Gottlieb. He's a former FDA commissioner and a CNBC contributor. He also sits on the boards uh, of Illumina and Pfizer. Today, Moderna, do you, we're going to talk about what, what you want to focus on, and that is that maybe we can, to allay our fears to some extent about the cold uh, supply and, and how difficult that is, uh, you know, to do effectively, doctor, because we have had a lot of concerns. But you make some great points that uh, it's manageable and these companies know how to do this. But what about Moderna? There's some, uh, some news coming out. Do you expect Moderna to go as smoothly as we saw uh, with Pfizer uh, last week and then that'll open up even more uh, supply? Yeah, I wouldn't expect any surprises in the package. I hear the package is just becoming available from FDA. The briefing documents that they're going to make available to their right. advisors are becoming public right now. I wouldn't expect any surprises in those documents. The data look pretty clean when they put out that top line data. And so I would expect this to go fairly smoothly for the company. So uh, we will be, uh, you know, scouring exactly what was said, but I'm sure it's, it's very similar to the, the documents that we saw uh, before the, the panel meeting for Pfizer that they came in. I think probably very similar to that. Uh, as far as... Yeah, the top as, line looks similar. Yeah, go ahead. You know, a couple things to focus on. Obviously, a couple things to focus on. So the top line read of it right now looks uh, encouraging. I haven't had a chance to go through it. Um, you know, looking at the side effect profile is important, but I wouldn't expect it to be materially different. Also looking at how this vaccine is going to be stored. Um, it's unclear whether or not it needs to remain frozen until it's administered. And so that's going to be an important question for pharmacies that administer this vaccine as well. Whether or not they could thaw it out and put it in a refrigerator for a number of days before they administer it, or do they have to keep it frozen, albeit at a, at a lower, at a, a warmer temperature, so it's not kept as cold as the Pfizer vaccine. But if it still needs to be kept frozen until the point of delivery, um, that's going to be something that the pharmacies have to bake into their plans. You point out uh, even the Pfizer vaccine. So if it's thawed, it can still be in a normal refrigerator for five days once it arrives. I don't know if people realize that. Right. That's so like, go ahead. Right. So with the Pfizer vaccine, so, so people have talked about the minus 70. The Pfizer vaccine needs to be shipped uh, at minus 70. I'm going to border Pfizer. I just want to remind the, the viewers um, Pfizer built a special block that, box that can keep this vaccine at minus 70 packed in dry ice for up to 10 days. And so it's tracked by GPS. It has temperature monitors in it. So it can be self-contained in that box for up to 10 days. When it arrives, you have three options if you're, let's say, a pharmacy. You can keep it in a box um, until you're ready to administer it. You can open the box, and if you repack the box every five days with dry ice, you can keep it in that box for up to five days. Or you can put it in a, an ultra-low temperature um, freezer for up to six months. The other option is that you can thaw it out. And once you thaw out the vaccine, you can keep it in a normal refrigerator for up to five days. And the reason why that's important is because if you're CVS or Walgreens, for example, and you're going to be vaccinating in a nursing home, what they're likely to do is thaw out the vaccine in the morning, put it in igloo um, boxes, so normal refrigerated little boxes, give it to their nurses, and their nurses will go to the nursing homes and vaccinate um, you know, people in those homes. It, it, it avoids having to uh, keep it frozen until the point of administration, the fact that you can keep it in normal refrigeration up to five days. And so um, that is a, a key feature. That's something I think to look for in the Moderna vaccine, how, it can, how it's going to be administered, whether it needs to be kept frozen until administration or it can be thawed out and kept in refrigeration. They did have some data showing stability um, in normal refrigeration. Now, whether or not that's going to get into the label at the time of the initial authorization, I think that's an open question. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.